The number one on this guy's back is there for a reason. The 2015 EWS champion has been absolutely dominant this season, winning three out of four races so far. But all that is about to change. Colorado. That's always good to race in your home country. But Colorado's not my hometown or trails I ride at all. But most of all, it's tough because it's that elevation. Everyone struggles. I hate it, to be honest. Uh, altitude. Yeah, Bailey, welcome back. Just racing at elevation is something that I've never really struggled with. They call it Boyle's Law. We'll spare you the physics, but the higher you climb in altitude, the less air pressure there is. The atmosphere always contains around 21% oxygen, but the 8,100 foot base elevation here in Aspen means there's less pressure, and that means there's less air. Getting our G photos over there. Oh, man. I had to teach him how to edit his photo this morning. He's like, can't wait good. for racing tomorrow. It's this morning. What was the first thing I said when I woke up? Doesn't matter. I went to post he posted it. it man. I was turning out the light to go to bed to go to sleep, and I'm like, I'll put up an Instagram post. Post. And then just put my phone down, went to sleep, woke up in the morning. The first thing you see, I check my phone. It's like failed to send or whatever. So I sent it this morning, but this morning is at last night. So yesterday was tomorrow, and now today's today. And do you think it's gonna go back in time and post? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> if there's one thing Jared would like to do this season, it would most likely involve going back in time. Since joining Team Specialized at the beginning of the year, the 2014 EWS champion has had a season he'd surely love to forget. Nothing is immune to mechanical issues, like no part, no tire. It's just happening at a bad time. And years past, I've had plenty of mechanicals and weeks in between racing. And you know, those sort of moments where you'll be riding along and something will happen, you're like, wow, if that happened in a race, that would have been my whole race and possibly season down the drain. That's just been the story of my season. You can be riding well and, you know, you know deep down that everything's fine. It's just bad luck, but it still affects your confidence just not getting those results. Uh, having a damn near perfect run then and I don't even know what I hit, but, yeah, that's it. It's the day over. That's racing, man. What can you say? He's always been on pace. Sometimes, man, it just doesn't work out. Oh, that's got a flat. Seems to be the story of my seasons. I know his luck's gonna turn around. He's gonna win some of these. It's just who he is. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's a lot looser than in practice. Yeah, it's actually a real good start of the day. The tricky stage and the, the steep open new cuts, I feel like you gotta be safe to there. So fast! <laughs> I 
I was actually really surprised. Like the big thing for me was I wrote very within myself on stage one, and uh, when I found out I won, I was just really That's okay. This year I had a good block of riding at altitude and training. I think it kind of worked. First downhill race. Yeah, I do remember. I did a couple mountain bike races when I was like 15, 16. I have no idea how I did, to be honest. I think I crashed or something. So that was like my first downhill race. Can't wait to ask you that question, Nick. <laughs> well, one month ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just nothing. Zero races. Zero races, yeah. This weekend, I'm going to race a uh, local race in Bromo. Nick is going to have the goals of participating in this race, but most of all, having fun and finishing the race. It's way different when you drop in the stage. I mean, you go all out first off, and you haven't rode anything from the day. You just pedal for 30 minutes uphill, and then you're kind of dead. And you just open up the gas, and you're like, let's hope for the best. <laughs> Stage three was the hardest one because uh, it was the longest. Happened to clip the tree. I thought there was a jump, but I forgot it was the uh, right corner. I stayed on my bike, but there was 20 people. They were like, oh, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah. This is a quarter of the total race I should be doing at the final EWS. I could be more fit, so I know I need to train more. My best advice is um, ride the bike as much as you can. Maybe scare yourself time to time because there will be plenty of that. Okay, there you go, Nick. Give it up. Curtis King. Curtis, you are good to go, my friend. Have fun out there. It was hard. I raced my life a couple times on the last stage. I feel like I raced pretty smart for the weekend. I was really happy, had some good stage results. I just had one bad stage and it was the big dog, number four, really long. It was like a 15 minute slow build up. If you feel tired anywhere three or four minutes before the finish, you've blown it, you've gone out too hard. Just good frame of mind and uh, on top of confidence and just looking forward to today. Glad we got that one done with though. Overall, I had a good weekend, almost won some stages. In fifth, I was more pumped for Jared, to be honest. He just purely dominated. Coming out of Australia, doing it for specialized racing. Put your hands together for Jared Grace. Just to finally put together a race that I'm capable of was was a big relief and I was happy for myself, happy for the team, happy for everyone really. I want to raise a toast to three men tonight. I want to start in absence, Paddy. Huh? Paddy man. First EWS win for Specialized to Paddy. They say not to judge a man when he's on top, but how he comes back when he's been down. Thank you. To the rest of the season, get him done. Cheers. Nah. Oh, no, you're not water. Anna. Jessica. Cheers, team. Christoph. Guys. Uh, yo, yo. Guys. Yes, training is vital. And sure, the right equipment makes a difference. But if you're looking to win a race at this level, 
you'll need something else. It's the most important tool in a mountain bike racer's skill set, and it can't be coached or purchased. It can only be earned. Confidence.